and that's how I took them out. Destroy Man came back? Huh, didn't see that coming. He was an annoying prick, though. I'm glad he's dead. Again. I can kill more fighters for you, whatever my master wants. Hmm? Master. Oh. Ah, oh, oh. ah! <sighs> Pesky little cub. You can't kill me. Eat this! Must be having a nightmare. Hey, over here. Huh? I can't. I feel like that pervy teacher in a porn. It's me. I am sending the next fight to your map. So, you can really count on her, yes? The rest should be easy now that she has done her part. Yeah. Wait. Something wrong? Nah, it's nothing. The next sucker's all mine. Well, Travis has the right idea. And of course, Shinobu left us something. Well, at least one of her friends left us a nice little something. We'll figure that out in the next uh, part of the game. A new beam saber or beam katana. We got beam katana. Rose nasty. We'll 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 figure that out. What it, what we'll figure what it is later on. We also got weekly backdrop six. So don't forget about that. Got ourselves a tiger driver limited edition. We learned the tiger driver. So yeah. Hello, my friends. This is Moogle Master One Hundred Two, and welcome back to another episode. Of No More Heroes 2, Desperate Struggle. Today we're going to go into our next ranked fight. This ranked fight is pretty insane. It's probably one of the more challenging fights in the game. Um, not because it's annoying, mostly because it's actually a challenge. You actually need to know your positioning, and you need to know, like, a lot of things. It's not like the new Destroy Man. No. Fuck that fight. This fight's actually a legit fight, and it's really fun. But anyway... We'll go ahead and go to Ocean Crop Point. And of course, we don't have to do any mini games to get there. We just go straight to the destination. But there is a mini game for the fight. So, you gotta keep that in mind. A man from the East had acquired power. Real power, beyond brute strength or deadly weapons, beyond technology or gimmicks. It's the power all humans have, but few learn to harness. It subdues all enemies with the sheer force of its will. When fighters who wield this clash, the battle is epic. They see it in each other and form a brotherhood. It becomes a test of their souls. Maybe someday we'll be the spectators of such a battle. All I have to say is the scenery is beautiful in this place. Now, in this part of the game, we just gotta play some bumper bikes. So, yeah. This is this is kind of annoying because um, 
He does his charge, which at some point I think he will start doing it, but I think not. Okay, see. I was hoping he didn't do that. I was honestly hoping he didn't do that. Controlling this bike is absolutely annoying, and I think, I, I can't say that it's atrocious, but it's absolutely annoying to control. <sighs> I, I wish I didn't screw that part up. And, uh, he's gonna do that. And keep doing it. Basically, you just gotta knock him off the edge of the mountain. There we go. Just turn around. And he's gonna do it again. And he's gonna do it again. Alright, see if we can do it. Ah, oh, got him. Alright. Ah. Oh. Alright, this is what I'm going to do with this fight. Switch to my beam saber right away. Give ourselves a nice invisibility frame. But basically... Ah, oh, goddammit! I keep mistiming that. But basically, this is one of my favorite fights in the game. It's very challenging, very fun, and uh, you gotta know your positioning. And here, when he charges, when he throws this... God damn it! I, I, why do I keep mistiming it? When he throws his sword back, like, when, he, when he's like this, and then you dodge roll, you'll always dodge it no matter what. So, keep that in mind. And here, I've never seen him do that before, that was interesting. He's got like a little pike, kind of, it's kind of cool. And dodge roll, there we go. Yeah, dodge roll is your best friend in this game. So, keep that in mind. And he's gonna thrust it back again, and, ah, oh, goddammit, I mistimed it again. Yeah, but this, this fight is pretty fun. I like it a lot. It's probably one of my favorite fights in the game. And of course, you got the music from Matt Helm's fight too. This is probably this is such a fitting song for this fight in particular. And the scenery is awesome too. I think it's pretty neat. And here we go. Did it a little too early, but I don't mind. But yeah, this is the fight. As long as you know what you're doing, he won't be that much of an issue. And oh, look at them! We're gonna do a shit ton of damage here. Oh, power bomb! Beautiful. Here we go. Oh, look at that. And this is when he does the dragon. Watch out for the dragon. This move is awesome. It looks so cool. Oh, God. And then he gets really tired, so you, this is your opportunity to hit him. You'll always ensure hitting him. Oh, wait. There we go. And then I think he's going to do the thrust move again. Alright, there we go. And if we get... Okay, we got our extra C gauge up, which is fine. I wasted it completely, but... We did get a nice hit frame on him. So it's not all that bad of a thing. Okay, there we go. No! Dragon! I don't like the dragon! I don't like the dragon! <laughs> God! <laughs> that looked freaking weird. He got me in the corner with the dragon. I don't like that one bit. Ah, oh, goddammit. You and your stupid dragon assist. Alright. Oh, oh. Watch for this move, because then he's going to do the thrust afterwards. Alright. Yes, I memorized this fight, alright? 
In here? Oh, I missed. I missed completely. Alright. This is when he does the charge again and dodge. Alright. I'm gonna go and get that food now. Ah! Yeah, I seen that. I heard I heard the little thrust move. Don't try to sneak up on me with that. And then wait for it. Ah, god damn it. He got me with it. Alright. Yeah, it does this little combo move where you can counterattack him. Alright. I'm waiting for him to do the thrust move again. I'm gonna do it again? Here we are. There we go. Yeah, that move is pretty predictable. Oh boy, not the dragon again. Oh boy, I don't like this move at all. It's it, it's it lingers for like a long time too. That's the funny part. And he'll get back up on his feet. Oh boy. All right. Well, we got him down low health. So, oh god, I forgot he was doing the charge move. All right, he's gonna do it again and then dodge. All right. All right. Come on, you're gonna do your charge move again, buddy. Yeah, you're gonna do it again. No problem. We're running out of battery, too. I just realized <laughs> Oh, well. We'll beat him by the time our battery runs out, anyway. Ah, oh, I almost had him dead, too. Oh, Jesus Christ! The thing drains the battery so friggin' much. Alright. Oh, one issue now is that we have to charge our battery. I don't like this. You gonna do it again? Okay. Look. Oh boy. Oh no! That dragon! Look! I, I just want to charge my battery, alright? Perfect. Oh my god, that charges up really fast! You see that? I just real look look how fast I charged up. That was insane. All right, come on, do your charge. Wow. Okay. Definitely wasn't seeing that. Definitely did not see that coming. All right, do your charge again. Yeah. No. Get the hell out of here. Done with your shit. I love this fight. Don't get me wrong, but he has to die. All right, let's go. Had nothing left. I know that, but he was a true warrior, and you gunned him down like a thug. This is not some peewee karate tournament, Travis. You do not play bows and go home. You are an assassin, and killing is how you win. But I thought what? He fought honorably, so you want to let him live? So he can come back stronger and cut you in half? You are developing a bad habit. First that dumb schoolgirl, now him? Just finish the job, or we will do it for you. These fights are not a sport. Shit. Ryuji, man, you'll be missed. You were a free and pretty damn honorable opponent. Though you were pretty predictable. <laughs> but yeah, um, also, I... I think the weapon actually has is like a Nagata, I think that's what it's called. Um, it's like a spear-ish sword type weapon. I, I completely got that wrong when I said it was a pike. A pike's actually just a spear. Nagata is the sword type of spear. I think that's what it's called. But yeah, pretty damn awesome to see a beam saber version of it though. Anyway, we're pretty much done, so let's go ahead and move on.
yeah, that's it's a shame that Sylvia had to do that. If we let him live, man, we could have seen No More Heroes 3. You know, him coming in and beating the shit out of everyone, being on Travis's side. No, I don't know. Can't really trust an assassin, especially like him. Just, he seems like he speaks for himself, really. Alright. He lets his Nagata do the fighting. Let's put it that way. 